Before we get started on the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos without you, so thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Joshua and Richter for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James Williams Bond and Mozilla for their tier 4 sub this month. Also, if you're interested in learning about the things that you'll see in this video, then you can click the banner in the top right corner to learn more about my Udemy course. So without further ado, let's get started on the video. The first thing I needed to do was to create the flag. Instead of creating a 3D model in Blender, I used the simple 3D shapes from Unity to create the flag. I then wrote some simple interaction code to test if I could interact with the flag. In the beginning I simply wanted to destroy the flag instead of picking it up. After writing the code I was able to destroy the flag by pressing the pickup button while standing next to it. I wanted to be able to place the flag in the character's hand, so I had to look through the hierarchy of bones to find a suitable bone to place the flag on. After finding the bone I wrote some simple code that would make the flag pop into the character's hand when it was picked up. The first attempt looked a bit odd, the flag was stuck to the lower arm of the robot instead of the hand. However, after a few adjustments I managed to make the flag pop into the hand instead of the arm. I still needed to do some minor adjustments to make it perfect. For starters I wasn't satisfied with the fact that the robot's head went through the flag while walking. After attempting a lot of different things, I figured that my best option to fix this was to create a new animation. So I went into Blender and tried to create a new flag carry animation. When the animation was done, I simply had to set it up in Unity and write some simple code to test it out. Okay, so the first attempt didn't go exactly as I wanted it to, so I guess I had to fix something in the animator before trying it out again. After fixing the transition in the animator, the robot was now able to pick up the flag and carry it around in his hand by using the new animation. I also made a few more adjustments to the flag to make the grip look more realistic. After the new adjustments, I was very satisfied with the result. It looked a lot like the robot was carrying around the flag in his hand. And then it was time to create the flag zones, because it's not a capture the flag game if you can't capture the enemy's flag. I created the flag zones by coloring a couple of standard 3D boxes. I wrote a few lines of code and then I set up the colliders for capturing the flag. It worked as intended after the first attempt, however I also needed to make sure that the hand would go back to another animation after the flag was dropped. I then quickly wrote up some code for dropping the flag. The first attempt was ok, but I still wanted to adjust the angle of the flag so when I dropped it, it would stand straight up. I wanted the flag to pop up into the air when I let go of it, and to do that I would need to apply some physics, so that's why I added a rigid body to the flag. But after adding the rigid body, the flag would just fall over when I was carrying it or when it was standing on its own. To stop the flag from falling over, I added some constraints to the rigid body's rotation. The constraints fixed the tipping over problem, however now I wasn't able to position the flag correct with the right rotation, so I had to figure out how to do that with the constraints on. I then tried to disable the constraints while I was carrying the flag and then enabling them again when I was letting go of it. In addition I also added some code that would let the flag pop into the air when dropped. The first attempt didn't really work out, the flag just fell to the ground instead of popping into the air, so I figured that I had to increase the force that I would throw the flag into the air with. The second attempt was a bit too powerful, so I adjusted the force again, and this time it was way better. I then needed to make sure the flag wouldn't fall through the ground, so I added an extra collider and disabled all the constraints when the flag was dropped. The flag was now able to land on the ground, but it wasn't standing when I dropped it, so I had to enable the constraints again when the flag hit the ground. The flag almost had the desired functionality now. It would drop correctly on the ground, however it would still be a bit tilted, so I had to write some more code to make sure that it would stand straight up when it hit the ground.
And there you have it, the main mechanics for Capsule Reflect were finally done. Thank you so much for watching. You can look in the description below or click the link on the screen to sign up for my Udemy course. And remember that patrons can sign up for my course for free. I'm also working on a Patreon exclusive tutorial where I'm using the sprite that you see on the screen right here. And the first episode should be out later this week. Again, thanks for watching and I hope you'll have a great day.